Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. It's busy in the station today, isn't it, Mum? Yes, lots of people are going away. You know that man with the shorts, don't you? The one who's holding the umbrella? That's Jim. Do you know him very well? Not very well. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Do you know any other people here? Can you see the woman who's carrying a small suitcase? Yes. She's wearing a dress with spots. That's my friend Sarah. Oh, where's she going? She's going to visit her cousin. And there's someone I know here, Mum. Who's that? Can you see that man who's reading the newspaper? The one who's got curly hair? No, the one who's sitting next to his skis. He taught me last year. Oh, yes. I remember him. His name's Frank. Look, can you see that girl with the drum? Yes, I can. I'd like to play it. <laughs> Me too. Do you like her sunglasses? Yes, I do. What's her name? Katie. She lives near the station. And who's the man who's making the coffee? Sorry, I don't know him. But I do know the man who's buying something at the bookshop. Oh, what's his name? That's Jack. Oh, he's got a great striped scarf. Yes, he has, hasn't he? Can you see the woman who's sitting next to those plants? Oh, yes. She's a friend of your aunt's. Yes. I like the butterfly on her handbag. What's her name? Her name's Helen. Now listen to part one again. Do you know any other people here? Can you see the woman who's carrying a small suitcase? Yes. She's wearing a dress with spots. That's my friend Sarah. Oh, where's she going? She's going to visit her cousin. And there's someone I know here, Mum. Who's that? Can you see that man who's reading the newspaper? The one who's got curly hair? No, the one who's sitting next to his skis. He taught me last year. Oh, yes, I remember him. His name's Frank. Look, can you see that girl with the drum? Yes, I can. I'd like to play it. <laughs> me too. Do you like her sunglasses? Yes, I do. What's her name? Katie. She lives near the station. And who's the man who's making the coffee? Sorry, I don't know him. But I do know the man who's buying something at the bookshop. Oh, what's his name? That's Jack. Oh, he's got a great striped scarf. Yes, he has, hasn't he? Can you see the woman who's sitting next to those plants? Oh, yes. She's a friend of your aunt's. Yes. I like the butterfly on her handbag. What's her name? Her name's Helen. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. 
Mom, there's going to be a race next Sunday. I like to run in it with all my friends. Great. When will it start? I have the time here on this paper. It says midday. Okay. I can take you in the car. Thanks, Mom. I want to be there early. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Where will the race start, David? We'll have to meet outside the school first, but that's not where we'll start. Oh. No. We're going to start from the bridge. I see. What are you going to wear? What about my new t shirt? The one with the stripes? That's a good idea. My teacher says that it's important to eat the right food before the race. A nice burger and fries? No, Mom. You have to eat pasta. That's the best food. Okay. I can cook some for you. Thanks. The race is going to be a long one. We'll have to go through the town. And when will you know it's the end of the race? We'll see a flag. Someone will wave it at the finishing line. Okay. I'll be there with Dad to watch you. What will happen after the race? I'm going to meet my friends in the park. What are you going to do there? We'll have a picnic. That's great. Now listen to part two again. Where will the race start, David? We'll have to meet outside the school first, but that's not where we'll start. Oh. No. We're going to start from the bridge. I see. What are you going to wear? What about my new t shirt? The one with the stripes? That's a good idea. My teacher says that it's important to eat the right food before the race. A nice burger and fries? No, Mom. You have to eat pasta. That's the best food. Okay. I can cook some for you. Thanks. The race is going to be a long one. We'll have to go through the town. And when will you know it's the end of the race? We'll see a flag. Someone will wave it at the finishing line. Okay. I'll be there with Dad to watch you. What will happen after the race? I'm going to meet my friends in the park. What are you going to do there? We'll have a picnic. That's great. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. What did Mrs. Green buy for each person? Hello, Mrs. Green. Wow, you've done a lot of shopping. Yes, William. I've bought some presents. I went to the shops and some of my friends and family asked me to buy some things. Is this lovely ring a present? Yes, it is. My friend Emma wanted it. It's not very expensive, but it's got a nice stone in it. I'm sure she'll like it. Can you see the letter B? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. This looks interesting. Yes. Do you like the pictures inside it? Yes, I do. Look at that racing car. It's amazing. Well, this magazine is for my husband, Oliver. He buys it every week, but he forgot yesterday when he was in town. You have a sister, don't you, Mrs. Green? Did you get her anything? Well, 
Jane wanted a new belt. I looked for one, but I couldn't find anything. I decided to get her these gloves. Does she have cold hands? <laughs> she often says so. The wool is very nice, isn't it? What's this, Mrs Green? Is it a torch? Yes, it's for my son Michael. He loves going inside caves. He needs lots of light when he's there. Why is that? Because it's so dark in there. I've never been inside a cave. I don't like bats or frightening creatures like that. No, I don't. And what about these chopsticks? Are they for you? No, they're for my friend Kim. Are they made from wood? Yes, they are. She doesn't like plastic, so I had to buy these. She asked me for some forks, too. We saw them when we were in a market last week. Today, they weren't there. And who's this car for? I love the design. Yes, it's fantastic, isn't it? It's for my daughter, Sally. She loves collecting them. Has she got lots of them? Yes, she has. You must come and see them soon. Now listen to part three again. This looks interesting. Yes. Do you like the pictures inside it? Yes, I do. Look at that racing car. It's amazing. Well, this magazine is for my husband, Oliver. He buys it every week, but he forgot yesterday when he was in town. You have a sister, don't you, Mrs Green? Did you get her anything? Well, Jane wanted a new belt. I looked for one, but I couldn't find anything. I decided to get her these gloves. Does she have cold hands? <laughs> she often says so. The wool is very nice, isn't it? What's this, Mrs Green? Is it a torch? Yes, it's for my son Michael. He loves going inside caves. He needs lots of light when he's there. Why is that? Because it's so dark in there. I've never been inside a cave. I don't like bats or frightening creatures like that. No, I don't. And what about these chopsticks? Are they for you? No, they're for my friend Kim. Are they made from wood? Yes, they are. She doesn't like plastic, so I had to buy these. She asked me for some forks, too. We saw them when we were in a market last week. Today, they weren't there. And who's this car for? I love the design. Yes, it's fantastic, isn't it? It's for my daughter, Sally. She loves collecting them. Has she got lots of them? Yes, she has. You must come and see them soon. That is the end of part three. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. What's the new museum near to? Hello, Grace. Did you enjoy your visit to the new museum? Yes, Dad. It was interesting. Where is this museum? I've never been there. It's near the university, isn't it? No. It's near the theatre. It's easier to get to than the old museum. Yes, I remember. The old museum was near the fire station. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. What did Grace like best in the museum? 
So what did you like best in the museum, Grace? Was there a dinosaur? Yes, but it wasn't very good, Dad. But I loved the big octopus. What else did you see? Well, there was a shark, but I didn't like that very much. Two. What did Grace do first? What did you do first when you arrived at the museum? Well, we wanted to take some pictures, but we couldn't. Oh, I see. Did you have to write things down in your book? No. A man talked to us about the museum before we looked at anything. Oh, that's good. Three. What was the film about? There was a little cinema in the basement of the museum. Did you see a good film? I wanted to see the film about deserts, but that was on last week. Oh, so what did you see? Something about animals? No, we saw a film about the pyramids. It was interesting. Four. What was the treasure box made of? There were some very old things in the museum. I saw a treasure box. It was full of gold. Oh, that's great! And what was the box made of? Was it silver? No, it was made of very old wood. I'd like to see it one day. Five. What will Grace have to take to class tomorrow? So, what will you do in class tomorrow? We're going to make a big picture. I'm going to take these postcards that I bought at the museum. You should take some glue. No, we've got that at school. And remember to take your new backpack. Oh no, it's still at school. I forgot it. Now listen to part four again. One. What did Grace like best in the museum? So, what did you like best in the museum, Grace? Was there a dinosaur? Yes, but it wasn't very good, Dad. But I loved the big octopus. What else did you see? Well. There was a shark, but I didn't like that very much. Two. What did Grace do first? What did you do first when you arrived at the museum? Well, we wanted to take some pictures, but we couldn't. Oh, I see. Did you have to write things down in your book? No. A man talked to us about the museum before we looked at anything. Oh, that's good. Three. What was the film about? There was a little cinema in the basement of the museum. Did you see a good film? I wanted to see the film about deserts, but that was on last week. Oh, so what did you see? Something about animals? No. We saw a film about the pyramids. It was interesting. Four. What was the treasure box made of? There were some very old things in the museum. I saw a treasure box. It was full of gold. Oh, that's great! And what was the box made of? Was it silver? No. It was made of very old wood. I'd like to see it one day. Five. What will Grace have to take to class tomorrow? So, what will you do in class tomorrow? We're going to make a big picture. I'm going to take these postcards that I bought at the museum. You should take some glue. No, we've got that at school. And remember to take your new backpack. Oh no, 
It's still at school. I forgot it. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Look at this picture. It's a nice kitchen. Oh, yes. I can see two people. I think they're cooking. Yes, they are. Perhaps they're making a cake. Would you like to color something? Okay. Well, next to the boy, there's some butter. Can I color it purple? <laughs> That's a funny color for it. But okay. Do that. Great. I'm coloring it now. Can you see the purple butter? This is an example. Now you listen and color and write. One. Can you see the cup on the shelf? Which one? There are two of them. The bigger one. Can you see it? Yes, I can. Okay, no problem. I'm going to color it red. Two. I can see some chocolate in the kitchen. Oh, yes. It's near the small bowl, isn't it? Well, there's some on top of the fridge, too. It looks nicer. Yes, I think it does. Can you color it orange? What about that? Yes. Okay. I think that's a good idea. Three. Would you like to write something on the picture? Yes, I'm ready. Can you see the bag near the cookies? Yes, I can. Please write sugar on it. Okay, I'm writing that now. Four. And can I write something else in the kitchen? What would you like to write? Can you see the very big bowl on the shelf? Yes, I can. Well, why don't you write the word olives on it? <laughs> That's great. Five. I'd like to color something blue now. Okay, then. Can you see the scissors? The ones at the front? No. How about the ones next to the boy on the right? Yes, I prefer them. Can I color them? Yes. Thanks. We've finished now. Good. I think the picture looks great. Now listen to part five again. One. Can you see the cup on the shelf? Which one? There are two of them. The bigger one. Can you see it? Yes, I can. Okay, no problem. I'm going to color it red. Two. 
I can see some chocolate in the kitchen. Oh, yes. It's near the small bowl, isn't it? Well, there's some on top of the fridge, too. It looks nicer. Yes, I think it does. Can you color it orange? What about that? Yes, okay. I think that's a good idea. Three. Would you like to write something on the picture? Yes, I'm ready. Can you see the bag near the cookies? Yes, I can. Please write sugar on it. Okay, I'm writing that now. Four. And can I write something else in the kitchen? What would you like to write? Can you see the very big bowl on the shelf? Yes, I can. Well, why don't you write the word olives on it? <laughs> That's great. Five. I'd like to color something blue now. Okay, then. Can you see the scissors? The ones at the front? No. How about the ones next to the boy on the right? Yes, I prefer them. Can I color them? Yes. Thanks. We've finished now. Good. I think the picture looks great. That is the end of the Flyers Listening Test.